Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. Call Halal La Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret Bless Yahawa, Bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son, Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And, um, you know, I have some more breaking news. And um, this coronavirus, which um, I did a video earlier this morning, and it was breaking news that it out there in Italy, you know, they um, basically having an outbreak of the coronavirus. And there was uh, shown um, in the supermarkets and food areas where the shelves were, were out of food because people are gathering food enough, you know, so that they don't have to leave their house and come in contact with anybody that might have the coronavirus. And now, all right, the CDC warns Americans to prepare for a coronavirus outbreak. All right. Now, I have a couple of uh, articles, but this one per se, I want to read. But the other ones, you know, are hot topics, breaking news, you know, and um, and uh, we're in that time, man, where, you know, we're approaching real. We're really close to a, to the point of Jacob's trouble. All right. What's the scripture speak of? And matter of fact, before I even get read anything, let's go into that scripture real quick. Since I said it, um, Jeremiah chapter 30, all right, this is Jeremiah chapter 30 and, uh, verse five, it says, for thus saith the Lord Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace, as ye now, and ye see whether a man do travail with child, Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right, and that Jacob's trouble is the time in which we're approaching, because this is a future prophecy. All right, where, you know... As this article is going to get into, you know, you know, America, you know, the way that you live here in America, your lifestyle, your everyday lifestyle could change. OK, and it, I'm going to say it will change when this thing actually kick off and when it when, when they do start, you know, preparing the streets because uh, like they doing in China, like they doing in Italy and all these other places, they're basically quarantining. And having road check blocks, you know, check stops and things of that nature, you know, and basically in regards of uh, uh, basically a, a, a containing this coronavirus and this outbreak. So what that means is that your everyday living and the way that you go about life could change. All right. And I'm going to say that it will change, you know, because this place that you call America, which is known in the scriptures as Babylon the Great which means great confusion is on its way out. All right. And, um, you know, we see through this, you know, it speaks of the economy crashing. All right. So this can also be a way that these elites go and mandate and push this RFID microchip and force this RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, you know, upon all the people here in America. All right. But, um, let me go back and read that again. It says, uh, at last for that day is great. And yeah, that day is great. And it says that none is so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And who shall be saved out of this Jacob's trouble is the elect of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. It's the elect of Jacob, the elect of the Israelites. All right. So. Um, before I even read that, I want to get a few of these titles of these articles that I came across in the link of a video. 
that was speaking on this matter. This matter. Um, all right, this is AP, AP News. And it says, Iran says officials who played down viruses, who played down virus fears is is infected. All right. And um, basically, that's a jab at the United States of America because Donald Trump played this virus down. You know, he's not uh, take. I'm going to say he's not, you know, taking it as serious as they are promoting it across the world. So it says Iran says officials who Iran says officials who play down virus fears is infected. All right. So who play down this thing? They're basically saying they already infected, man. So, you know, I ain't going to go into that. Let's get another one. This is San Francisco, right? It says San Francisco declares state of emergency over coronavirus. All right, there. So on the West Coast, you know, this thing is is happening, man. All right, this is breaking news. All right, I could play this video. Let's see. When allergies and congestion strike. Say yes to Allegra D. Satan has ads. San Francisco Mayor London Breed declared a state of emergency for the city on Tuesday amid concerns over the international coronavirus outbreak. While no coronavirus cases have been confirmed in San Francisco, the quote, global picture is changing rapidly and we need to step up preparedness, Breed said in a statement. Quote, we see the virus spreading in new parts of the world every day and we are taking the necessary steps to protect San Franciscans from harm. The new state of emergency will allow city officials to assemble resources and personnel to expedite emergency planning measures and boost the ability to deploy a rapid response to a potential coronavirus case in the city. All right, so basically what it is is that they're preparing. You know, they said there was no counts of the outbreak there, but they're preparing. You know, they're they're practicing and exercising this um this uh containment, you know, of quarantine and how to uh diagnose and uh you know, pick out those who might have that coronavirus. All right, so we're coming into a military state. This is going to be declared martial law. All right. Meanwhile, the economy is crashing because of this as well, because of the coronavirus, this virus. You know, it says uh, S&P 500 suffers two day drop not seen since 2008. See, so the stock market is going down. All right. You know, and I'll leave all these links so you can go into it. But as this virus escalates, you know, the economy is on its, is on its decline. All right. So this is Bible prophecy. So now let me get back to this article from the CDC warns Americans to prepare for the coronavirus outbreak. It says the Center of Disease Control is warning Americans to prepare for the possibility of a severe disruption of their lives as a result of the coronavirus outbreak in the United States. It says Dr. Nancy Messonier of the CDC's National Center for Immunization and Respiratory Diseases said Tuesday that the spread of the coronavirus in the U.S. is not so much a question or if, but rather a question of when, the New York Times report reports. Messonier also told Americans they should prepare for the expectation that this might be bad, saying schools may need to use internet-based teleschooling. Business may need to use video or telephone conferences and increase teleworking options. The communities might have to modify, postpone, or cancel mass gatherings. See, see NBC report. So check that out, man. Imagine, you know, in a, in a, you know, few days when this thing, if it happened to go down, you know, children not going to school anymore, you know, and they come up with something where, you know, on the computer, you got to go to a certain app or something or website and to have schooling, you know, if this thing actually happened the way they talking about it, 
then guess what? This is the definitely this is the change and the downfall of of Babylon the Great. This is this is this place on its way out. All right. It says now is the time of the biz for businesses, hospitals, communities, schools, and everybody people to begin preparing. Everyday people to begin preparing. She said, I understand this whole situation may seem overwhelming and that disruption to everyday life may be severe, but these are things that people need to start thinking about now. Messonnier also explained that she has told her family they ought to be preparing for significant disruptions to their lives. All right, so this is definitely a disruption to your lives. So all these YouTubers and, you know, any everybody that... You know, it's going to change everybody's lives, man. All right. Because it's going to be a certain way that you have to do things. And this can bring in that RFID microchip, you know, in the way of buying. You know, this virus is destroying the economy. You know, people can't buy. People can't sell. It's messing up businesses. You know, people, businesses are losing money. And what way without having contact, you know, with another one or having an item, a middleman, like a Federal Reserve note to pass on and you you know you know you wouldn't have to touch a person if you had a chip if you had that that mark you know in your hand you can just scan the swipe you know you wouldn't have to have somebody else's uh well, well let's say you wouldn't have to have a federal reserve paper you know which carry germs and all types of shit on your bacteria you know on those dollar bills in your pocket you know so hey scriptures say we're not ignorant of satan devices man all right, and um, let me get another scripture. Uh, this is Ezekiel chapter seven and uh twenty-five. It says, "Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none." All right, because even after all of this virus, you know, the economies and the people that love this world and love Babylon, love America, they're going to seek peace. But the scripture says destruction cometh and they that seek peace and there shall be none. Because really, this is this is the end of Esau's kingdom. This is the end of what you call America. This is it. Even if Esau is planning and doing these things as far as his agenda he's in a trick bag all right the scriptures say he shall be taken in devices that he have imagined and matter of fact i get that real quick this is uh psalms 10 and it says psalms 10 and 1 why standest thou far off O lord yahweh why hidest thou thyself in the times of trouble the wicked in his pride do of persecute the poor let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. You see? So you Edomites, you're going to be taken in the device that you have imagined. And that's by depopulating, all right, really trying to get rid of the Israelites. You know, you already stolen our, our identi identity, but now you want to, you know, um, stop us from uh, being a nation. Because you see the rise within Israel. And I'm talking about the Hebrew Israelites. All right. You see the teachings. They see the prophets. You know, they see the prophecies. But guess what? You can't stop the Lord's people from being a nation. So the Lord is going to stop you from being a nation. All right. So let them be taken in the vices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire. And blesseth the covetants whom the Lord abhorreth. Meaning who the Lord avoid. Okay. The wicked is Esau. And he boasteth of his new world order, his one world government, his one world currency, all right, his one world army, you know, it's something, you know, called order out of, order out of chaos, you know, problem, reaction, solution, uh, auto, uh, uh, auto chaos, okay, meaning, you know, order out of chaos, man, and that's what they do, they, they do it, they've been doing this for, for, for since day one, man, all right. This is how Esau rules, all right? He's the master of disaster. He's the son of perdition. It says, the wicked through his pride of his continents will not seek after God, but is not, it says God is not in all his thoughts. So 
at this time when these elites are trying to regulate and turn this 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 America into a a new kingdom, you know, governed under them, having control with microchips inside of everybody's body. The most high is not in all their thoughts. They don't consider that the Lord will return. They don't consider that the Lord is going to take this kingdom from them. You know? All right? Most high is not in all their thoughts. They are proud against the Lord. It says, His ways are always grievous. Thou judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. And his number one enemy is the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right? The Lord's people who the Lord have chosen. So, from there, I want to read the scripture, and I'm gonna leave it with that. This is um, this is uh, Second Peter chapter three verse ten. Now it says, "But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night," and that's exactly what's gonna happen. This is why these things have to happen. These pestilences, all right, earthquakes in diverse places, sedition among men, okay, concentration camps, martial law. You know, this place is going to get hectic, man. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fur and heat, and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. And another reason why this place got to be cleansed because of the viruses, man. Esau done unleashed. Okay, let me say, through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the Lord allowed Esau to unleash. Okay. These viruses in the earth, you know, how else would the Lord clean this place by the way of thermonuclear destruction? All right. So it says, but the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with the great noise. And that's by the and that's through by World War Three. All right. By the way of thermonuclear destruction, it says and the elements shall melt with fervent heat because what's going to burn the elements and everything here? That fire, it says, the earth also and the works therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? All right. So while the world, the, the world of Israel is in a state of folly, partying, you know, uh, giving into pleasures, lovers of themselves, blasphemers, boasters, you know, having the pride of life. You know the the elect is gonna is gonna um, is gonna manage themselves in the holy conversation of, in godliness, which is of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, that's why is the, the the elect is gonna be delivered, man, and the two thirds is gonna be destroyed. So it says, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So we're supposed to be looking forward to the day of the Lord. You know, you got all of these uh, uh, so-called blacks, Latinos, West Indians, Haitians, okay, Hispanics, Native Seminole Indians. You got a lot of all of our people, two thirds in these government churches believing in a false God. But instead, they're not really looking forward for the Lord to come back. All right. They're not really looking forward to that. You know, they're just going through the motions. They want to be a part of something. They're seeking vain things, okay, uh, the things of this world. You know, really, in these government churches, they teach the pastors, they teach a prosperity doctrine, all right? The people of the church give, and, and the people believe that God is going to give them carnal things. You know, we're really supposed to be receiving the spiritual things, man, all right, which is repenting, you know, and the spirit, cleansing, you know. And then you start hasting for the coming of the day of the Most High. It says, verse 13, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, all right, which is the elect, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwell of righteousness. Because right now it's not righteousness. You know, you got a lot of these celebrities that are selling their soul. I mean, they're selling their sons to Molech, to them demons. Esau got them turned out. There's all this homosexuality, transsexual bestiality pedophilia you know all of these things are going on man like i said before lovers of themselves having a pride of life boasters proud blasphemers you know idol uh, uh idol worshipers you know worshiping these pagan holidays all right 
He said, according to his to his promise, which is the elect, the elect look for what? New heavens and a new earth, wherein the well of righteousness. So we looking for righteousness. So once the Lord destroyed this place, especially here, Babylon the Great, which the scriptures say will be destroyed and utterly destroyed. All right. There's going to come righteousness in the earth through Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. It says, wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things. So it's important that we look for these things. So you might say, oh, these guys are crazy. Why would you want God to destroy America? Because that's the only way righteousness will reign superior in the earth. The Most High is allowing Yahweh Shai to bring the heavens here on earth. All right. Bringing that order, bringing that kingdom, which he promised to his people. OK, from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob and to the 12 tribes, man. So wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. And that's why um, this is very important, because being diligent in this truth, you know, you want to be found, you know, without spot and blameless, you know, to where your sins are not covering you. You are you have been what forgiven for your sins, man. All right, because you are to to rehearse the righteous acts in this day. All right, you are to repent. All right, and turn into the ways of the Lord and live your life according according to that. All right, so it says an account that the long suffering our Lord of our Lord is salvation, even as our even as our beloved brother Paul also according to the wisdom given unto him have written unto you right all right so you know this is second peter's the third chapter and i'll just leave it with that man um this is breaking news once again this is uh cdc warns america to prepare for the coronavirus outbreak all right the economy is crashing due to this virus uh italy have now um uh, uh went crazy because of this virus uh taking Buying all the food out the food stores and things of that nature. And it's going to come here, man. You know, so Jacob's trouble is around the corner. So with that, I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole fort elect. Shalom.